new Country. career, you're gonna ruin everything, you're gonna lose all your followers, you're gonna, I'm like, what can I do, what can I do, you know? Accept it, you know what I mean, like. Welcome back to YouTuber Headlines. My name's Oakley. This is my commentary channel where I talk about YouTubers, what's going on in their lives, and what's going on on their social media platforms. I talk about everything, not just problematic behavior. Today we're talking about the Sacconi Jolie family. Specifically, we're talking about Jonathan. If you guys follow him on social media, you already know what I'm talking about, but a lot of viewers are saying he's having one, either a nervous breakdown, or two, a midlife crisis. When I think of the Sacconi Jolies, I think of one of the original OG family vlogging channels on YouTube. Other than the Shaytards. The Shaytards, I believe, were the first family vloggers but I never really watched that channel. But I have watched the Sacconi Jolies off and on throughout the years. Fuck. Fucking filtered social media bullshit that makes all of us feel inadequate. It makes all of us feel and we're not good enough. That's the truth. I do agree with what he's saying. Lately, I've been making videos about influencers using filters to sell beauty products, which is bullshit too. Social media can definitely make people feel like they're not good enough, they're not doing enough. And we need to buy more, and be more, and do more, and found a company, and get some Bitcoin, be a millionaire and super successful by the time we're 22. I agree with what he's saying here. Social media can make us feel this way. Jess Fam just did a TikTok where she shows everything that she's done in her life during her 20s, where she's super successful. She owns her own business, all of these things. She's traveled around the world. Most 20 something year olds haven't done those things, but she has, and she was bragging about them. So if you're a 20 something year old person and you watch that TikTok and you haven't done all those things in your life, you might think, damn, what am I doing with my life? When I was with YouTube, man, there was always people whispering in my ears that I should behave myself, not show that side of me because everybody was fucking banking on me. You know, um, I can't change the past and you know, it resulted in me having a panic attack. It resulted in me questioning myself. It resulted in me suppressing my feelings and emotions. It resulted in me like the gaslighting I went through, all the things that I went through because other people needed me and wanted me to remain a certain way. Jonathan never gets really specific here and tells us who he's referencing, who he's talking about, but he did walk away from his management company just a few months ago. I'm in control of myself and everything. Um, and it feels fucking great. It feels great, you know? And, you know, I know people are gonna say like, So Jonathan is at a new, different point in his life. And I think, yeah, he will definitely lose followers, but I think he will definitely gain followers, which is kind of like your journey on YouTube. As a YouTuber, you can't expect to keep the same followers throughout your entire journey on YouTube. I think that's pretty difficult and unrealistic, if you want my opinion, because you're growing, you're changing as a creator, you're going to attract different viewers, and then other viewers are not gonna find you relatable anymore. I think it's just all part of the process. So never be afraid to lose followers. I know I'm not, because it's just a revolving door. As you lose followers, you gain followers. And in my opinion, it's always better to have followers, subscribers, viewers that can relate to you and want to watch your content versus the people that just don't relate to you anymore. It's in my box for so fucking long because the fear, right? The fucking fear. You know, you stay in that job because you're fucking afraid of not having a job, right? You stay in that shit relationship because you're afraid of being alone. Who can relate to what he's saying? If you do, leave a comment. Don't we? Don't we all do it? Well, no more. No more. Okay? 
So before I move forward and share more of what Jonathan has been sharing over on Instagram, I do kind of have to talk about the elephant in the room, and that is Jonathan and Anna's son, Eduardo. I recently made a video about how they are exploiting him. I will link that video down below if you guys want to go check that out. That's not what this video is about, but I do have to bring that up because it is such a big part of the Sakoni Jolie story and their journey here on YouTube. When preparing to do this video, I've read a lot of things about Jonathan online. So I have to kind of show both sides here. So let me share some things with you guys. A lot of people are saying that Jonathan is a known liar and that he will do anything to get views. For example, viewers say that he often talks about growing up poor, but he was actually middle class growing up. I've also read that his channel is dying, cause look, they have over a million subscribers and they don't really get that many views on their channel. Eduardo is the one that gets the most views on their YouTube channel. Anytime they put him in the thumbnail or in the title, that video typically gets more views than others. So recently, Jonathan has started sharing a lot more on Instagram and opening up and some viewers are saying that he has alienated a large part of his viewers because he cusses more than he's ever cussed. A viewer said, you must have to edit a lot of swearing out of your YouTube videos. I just started watching your Instagram stories. I've only ever watched you on YouTube before. I'm becoming a follower. I love it. And Jonathan said, I just trained myself and held back all the time. That's why I made the videos about everyone else and not about me, but it's my turn. Jonathan also said, I honestly never thought anyone would like me if I showed myself. I found it easier to mainstage everyone else and just be the roadie hiding backstage. Wow. I don't know what to say. I think he hit the nail on the head right there. I think this is probably true for a lot of family vloggers. He obviously has some self-esteem issues. He thought no one would like him and he found it easier just to point the camera at everyone else in his family and he just kind of hid behind the camera for all of these years. Family channels do that like nobody else I've ever seen. They always just point the camera at their kids. Here's another question from a viewer. Would you ever be transparent about how much you make off a video on YouTube or is it forbidden? Jonathan said it used to be a lot. Now it's not so much. If you want to support the channel, join the member zone for $1.99 a month and get access to the extra vlogs that don't go public. But I'm hoping someday we get more members than public viewers so I can only do member vlogs and not get suppressed by the platform. So I thought I would share this because a lot of YouTubers are moving this way. They want you to become a member and pay a monthly fee to have access to videos that they can't post on YouTube because YouTube, they won't allow certain things or they'll demonetize your content or they'll age restrict it. I recently did a video about Shannon Rose I believe she makes over eight to $9,000 a month just on Patreon. She has that many members and she promotes the hell out of her Patreon and a lot of YouTubers wanna move in that direction. He also shared that the most he's ever made from a YouTube video was $30,000 and that was back in the day when they were living paycheck to paycheck so it was a huge deal to them. Here are a few other questions Jonathan answered over on Instagram. Your favorite position, all of them, I do yoga. What age did you lose your virginity? Six years before I was allowed. The strangest place you've had sex. I don't have a picture to accompany this answer, but probably in an elevator between floor seven and 35, there was a time challenge. So these are the kinds of things that he's sharing over on Instagram and he typically doesn't share stuff like this. He doesn't cuss as much as he's been cussing. He's wearing different clothing now. So a lot of people are thinking that either he's having a nervous breakdown or going through a midlife crisis or this is all fake and he's doing all of this for views and to grow his social media platform. I want to read a few comments I pulled from his Instagram. I'd rather have the real than seeing a perfect family. And Jonathan said, no one is perfect, yet we are all perfect. I do love that, Jonathan. Another viewer said, this speaks so much to me. I'm in a job that I'm staying in and really wanna follow my passion. You're inspiring me to move forward even though there is fear. 
Jonathan said, don't be afraid. Obviously be smart, but also follow your happiness. Another viewer said, I'm all for keeping it real, but swearing for the sake of it isn't cool, especially when a large portion of your audience is young. Another person said, why all the swear words? You can express yourself without saying all the F words. It's such a turnoff. I love watching you guys thinking these people are classy and nice, but that's all lies. You can make a point without the crude, horrible, bad language. Another viewer said, must have been very difficult for you not to be able to show your true self. You do you and what makes you happy and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Another viewer said, the only person stopping him being himself is him. It's so easy to blame society and social media, etc. We all do to a certain extent hold back through fear of failure, etc. But at the end of the day, it's only him or us that can decide how to be. Another viewer said, your language is awful. Would you like your children to be cursing all the time? Another viewer said, your past created your future, Jonathan. And where you are today is a foundation for years to come. I'm so happy for you and so thankful for you sharing your journey. I mean, like, I'm crazy, bro. I am crazy, you know? So I hid my crazy and, and now I'm like showing a little bit of my crazy and you guys are making me feel accepted. So Jonathan often talks about this adventure that he's on and he's currently on it. So everybody is like, what's the adventure about? What are you talking about? What have you been hiding for all these years? And he says that he's currently on the adventure. So I think that we haven't seen everything yet. He is revealing more and more about his true authentic self over on Instagram every day. So what does this mean for Jonathan? I think we're going to see some big changes. I don't think he's gonna leave Anna. I don't think it's going to be changes like that, but I think it's going to be like huge changes within the way he represents himself and comes across on social media. He just said he's crazy and he's no longer going to hide his craziness anymore. What do you guys think about this? Is he having a midlife crisis, a nervous breakdown, or an awakening? Are there things you hide about yourself because you're afraid people won't like you or understand you or, or people will think you're weird? Do you hide things about yourself? Can you relate to what Jonathan's talking about and going through? I think there just comes a point in life and I think age has a lot to do with it where you really just don't give a crap what people think, say, or write about you anymore. I'm going to continue to follow this adventure, that's what he calls it, that Jonathan's on and... I'm gonna talk about this more. I think it's interesting. I think viewers, especially on YouTube, are getting tired of the fakeness and the perfect little family vlogging channel. Like viewers don't wanna watch that anymore and we're ready for the adult content. Viewers are ready for the realness, for the unedited photos, for influencers to get rid of the filters viewers want to see your wrinkles we want to see the flaws on your face we're tired of all the fakeness we're ready for it and youtubers just being authentic i know i'm ready for it in my opinion i don't think jonathan is doing this for views i think he's really going through something let me know what you think down below thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time